Hi, Explorers. My name is Erica, and I want to know today, who here has been on a roller coaster before? Okay, a few of you. Now, who might be scared of a roller coaster? That's okay. Roller coasters take a lot of time to build. Engineers have to be very smart about how they build them to make them not only really, really fun, but really, really safe, because roller coasters go through a lot of stress every day. Now, for our lesson today, it's gonna be pretty simple material-wise. You're gonna need a ruler, a pencil, scissors, some tape, and about eight pieces of construction paper. Oh, and one more thing. You're gonna need either a marble or some type of bouncy ball to use on your coaster. All right, let's put our hard hats on here and think about how we're gonna engineer our own roller coaster. Now, we're gonna make it all out of paper today, just like this one that I've made right here. I'm gonna teach you how to make a straight path, a loop, my favorite part of the coaster, a hill, a turn, a funnel, and then even these awesome support beams because all coasters need support, right? They do. So before we get to building though, I want you to pause the video and I want you to design out your own roller coaster. You can draw it out or you can think it out in your mind, whatever you want to do, how you want it to look. Also, I want you to gather your materials. When you've done all that, you come back to us and we'll see you then. Welcome back, explorers. I'm gonna test out my coaster that I made. Oh, perfect. Marble dropped right out of the funnel. Now, a disclaimer for our lesson today. This is gonna take a lot of time and patience to make. This coaster right here took me almost a whole day to make, but it was a really, really fun project. And what I did was I did, I built a little bit and then I came back to it. So you are more than welcome to do that. You could even make it a few day project if you wanted to. So we're gonna turn our paper into our track. So what I'm gonna start with is I'm gonna show you this, how to make the straight path right here first. So you'll need a sheet of paper or construction paper, whatever you want. You're gonna need your ruler and your pencil right now. So I'm gonna take my ruler and go across the paper horizontally and make a mark at three inches and a mark at six inches at, towards the top. We're gonna to move down toward the middle of the paper and do the exact same thing. A mark at three and a mark at six and we're gonna do it at the very bottom as well. Like that. Okay, and remember when we're doing this, Measure twice, cut once. Once you cut paper, you can't go back. So then we're gonna turn the paper the other direction and we are gonna connect the three lines that we made to make one full straight line. And I'll show you this here in just a second so you can see how to do it at home. All right, once you're done, the paper is gonna look like this. So if you guys can see the line here and here. All right, next we are going to cut on the lines to make sure we have our strips of paper. We're gonna have two. Now the third piece that's going to be on your right, or my right here, is going to be used for support later because it's not quite three inches long. But it's great because you can use those scraps to make supports later. So we're gonna start now on how to make a straight path. So, you're gonna take your one piece of paper and your ruler, and you're gonna put it across the piece of paper and mark off at one inch and two inch, just like you did earlier with the three and the six. And you're gonna do that all the way down the paper. Just three marks, just like last time. And then you're going to connect them just like the last time. And I will show this to you again as soon as I am done. All right. All right. This is how you're going to want your paper to look, just like this. And then all you need to do to make the straight path is fold. And what I do is I fold to the line and then let it sit back up. Same thing on this side. Just fold it to the other crease. Then let it pop back up. And there is our straight path. Looks pretty good, right? All right, I want you guys to repeat the process and make four strips that are just like this. So pause the video right now, go do that, and come back when you're done. Welcome back, 
Bike Explorers. Now, we're gonna build the rest of the pieces for our roller coaster. I'm gonna teach you how to make a bump, a turn, and a loop today. Now, they're all gonna come from the three inch pieces that you've already made, because I told you to make four of them at least. So, your paper should look like this right now, and then I'm gonna show you how to make the little slits right here in this piece. So what you'll want to do is, you're gonna to wanna to put your ruler across your paper like this and mark off every inch. So at one, two, so on and so forth, until you have 10 squares, on, or 10 marks, excuse me, on your paper. All right. And then I want you to do it on this top side as well. And after we get done making our marks, we are going to make lines. That way we know where to cut. So I want you to flip your paper like this and go straight across and make your boxes. I'm gonna pause right there and show you what I did. And then you're just gonna do it all the way down the paper. So I'm gonna do that really quickly. And then I will show you how to cut these pieces so that your paper like this ends up like this. All right, explorers. Now, your paper should look just like this. So what I want you to do, just like when we made our straight path, I want you to make your folds. So fold it into thirds, just like last time. So it sits up like this on each side. And then we are gonna make our cuts. Now for our cuts, you are just going to want to cut down to where the crease is on the line that you made and you're going to go all the way down the paper on each side. All right, explorers, now your paper is cut. We're gonna make a hill or a bump, whatever you choose. You can make it big, you can make it small, whatever you do. I'm just gonna make mine small today. So you guys, it's gonna be kind of like a caterpillar. It's gonna be able to move however you want. So I'm gonna stop mine right about here. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to tape the pieces a little bit apart. So I'll push it back up like I had it. And then you see how my pieces are not quite together? You're gonna wanna kind of tape it like that so there's space in between. And you wanna keep going to make your hill as big as you want or as small as you want. Now, you can finish all that up. I'm gonna set this off to the side, and now I'm gonna teach you how to make a turn. So, you guys can see right here, I have this piece. Now, just like all these pieces that you have made earlier, I want you to do your cuts like this, but only on one side. Leave the other side uncut, because you're gonna want it to look like this. You're gonna to wanna to have a side that is blank so your marble can roll along it. Just like my marble did right here, you're gonna want it to be able to roll. Now, depending on how tight you wanna make your turn, you could cut off every other square right here. Your choice. Now, to tape it together, all you gotta do is turn it like this and then we're gonna take our tape And then you can tape these two pieces together and this piece underneath. So I'm gonna do that really quickly. There's one piece. And again, you can make this however you want. It's whatever you have designed in your mind. That's the really fun thing about engineering activities. It's however you want to do it, whatever you can dream up. All right, so I've got a little bit more of my turn made. So. I want you to think of how you want your turn to look. And we're gonna do one last piece for our coaster until we get to make our funnel. The next piece is a loop. So you're gonna do just like you did. Make all your cuts. This time though, as you guys can see my loop, you're gonna turn it like this, okay? Then what you're gonna to want to do is you're gonna to want to tape these pieces together. You see how I've held them together like that? You'll just do that and you'll tape all along the way. I'm gonna do that really quickly on each side here so you can see what it looks like. And again, this can be as big or as small as you want, whatever you decide to do. 
You could even take two pieces and make a really, really big loop, whatever you want, all right? So that's what it's gonna start to look like, and you're just gonna keep moving the pieces up. That way, they're sticking together and you can have your loop. All right, our next part is our funnel, right down here, where our marble will drop out of eventually, or bouncy ball, whatever you choose. So you're going to need a brand new full sheet of paper. Now, for this, to make my circle, I'm gonna use a roll of tape. You could use a cup from your house, a bowl, something that is in the shape of a circle. You're just gonna want a big circle. I'm gonna take my pencil. I'm just going to trace right outside of the tape. So it looks just like that. Pretty simple, right? Okay. We're going to just cut along the outside edge of the circle really quickly here. And then we will get to making your funnel. So just set your scrap off to the side. Remember, keep your scraps. They're gonna be used for these supports later. So I'm gonna set this off to the side here. I want you guys to make a cut into your circle and then you guys can make the funnel however tight you want it. But you might notice there's no hole for the marble to drop out of. So what I do is I just take my pencil and I'm gonna make a little circle on the outside. I'm gonna let this go and I'm gonna cut it out. That way your marble will have somewhere to drop out of. All right. This is a pretty quick process here, so that's nice. So there we go, I have my funnel. And then all you need to do is take a piece of tape and tape it together and that's your funnel piece. All right, now we've made all the different structures, but something that we really need to do is make supports so that our roller coaster can stand up. You guys will see I've used some small pieces down here to hold it up, but others, they're really thick. So it all depends on how and where you need to put them. So these here are made, I can't show you, but it's made into the shape of a triangle. So I can show you with this piece right here. So. How I did it was I just taped it like this and it's made into a triangle. And it's triangles are really good support systems. So however you wanna use your scraps, use them. Just make sure your roller coaster can stand up straight. All right, now, if you've been on a roller coaster before, you generally know that you have a chain that takes you up to the top. Now, what does the work after that? That's right, it's gravity. With our coaster right here, I'm gonna show you again, we're just using gravity. We don't have anything to pull our marble up. So make sure when you're starting, wherever your marble starts, you want gravity to do all the work for you. So let's see it work again. Perfect, gravity did exactly what you wanted. All right, explorers, once you have finished building, I want you to take pictures. Show your friends, show your teachers, show your parents, and then please tag us on social media so we can see your awesome creations. Get building engineers, can't wait to see it.